Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, my name's Tyler Carroll and I'll be your artist today. Hi, how y'all doing? Okay, uh, so the main character in this uh, in this project today where we're going to make all the cells is this Iceland White from Art Tree Creations down in Australia. Uh, this comes, this right here is a little 25 gram bottle. It comes in that kit that Tamara has. Uh, they also have it in a 50 gram jar and a 200 gram jar. So. Lots of different varieties on how you can get it. Um, I bought a 200 gram jar a long time ago and I still got plenty left almost two years ago. So lasts a long time. Uh, okay, what else today? Oh, today's project is on wood. I like wood better than canvas because of the way that the edges are. Um, that's just me. I prefer wood. I use heat. And it seems to take a lot better on wood for me than it does on canvas. So that's what we did it on today. A little 12 inch pine round. You can get them at the hardware store. And then I just primed it with some white, a um, couple coats of white primer on there and sanded it smooth with 400 grit and just wiped it all down and everything and then just, you know, started adding the stuff to it. So it's on wood today. That's what we did. Um, I will be getting back to the aluminum. I'll be doing some galvanized here. Uh, even going to try to make some cradle boards, show you guys how to make some cradle boards in some of these upcoming videos. I got to get it figured out. Uh, Sherry Cruz says it's a uh, not that hard to do. So Sherry Cruz says it's not that hard to do. I think I'll be able to do it. So God, I love that lady. She's cool. Just got done talking to her on the phone. Uh, if you come from acrylic pouring and you're scared of resin, you know, I've been in your boat before, you know, I've been in your shoes. Um, that's a big old acrylic pour that I did of mine. That's a 24 by 48 on steel. Uh, it needs fixed up. You know, I got a dent over there, but it's mine. I love it. I'm going to keep it forever. So Probably never sell that one because that's my favorite. Uh, but yeah, so if you came from acrylic pouring and you're scared of resin, this is a good video for you. This is going to be in live time. It's a little bit longer of a video, um, but I just kind of want to show you guys everything that happens in live time. I've been doing this for quite a while, so I might go too fast in some of these other videos for you. Um, so I slowed this one way, way down so you can see everything. I want you guys to learn. Uh, and hopefully you enjoy it, hopefully you learn something. And if you have any questions or comments, please just leave them, uh, leave them down below. I'd be glad to answer them for you. I'll try to get back to you. Uh, okay, well, let's get going on this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, today's video will start with six ounces total Pearl Marine Supply resin mixed up, three ounces of hardener, and three ounces of epoxy. Um, I mix it for approximately five minutes, and then it will show me putting the cups on the board and adding all the stuff into the cups, like the colors and everything like that. You'll see, so. All right, well, um, enjoy the video. Hope you like it, and uh, yeah, okay. All right, uh, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. Okay, let's put some color into it. I'm going to use Iceland White from Art Tree Creations. Get a little stir. Scrape it off. Uh, not much, just about like that much. Oop. Gonna try, looks like Brilliant Cad Red, the Hydrus ink from PH Martins. Um, it says Hydrus, but it's not water based. It's just designed to look like a water color. So it's an acrylic ink also. Gonna do two droppers full. And then we're also gonna use another acrylic ink, uh, Tangerine by Bombay. tree paste right here I've had for a couple years um, orange spirit looks like we're gonna try that one just a little bit of it
and mix it just a little. It's pretty uh, opaque orange. Looks like that. Doop. Okay. Let my lid go right over here. Alright. And I'm gonna get some mixing sticks. Get some small, not the big ones. And let's see how this goes. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put a base coat of uh, resin down here in just a second. Let me stir these all up and I'll put some resin down. That's what the cadmium red looks like right there. Hydra's color. And this will be the tangerine. white from our tree. Gotta try to make some cells today. And the orange spirit. Orange spirit. And I'm just going to rub it around with my hands. That's all I'm going to do. Get a chunk of something in there. Oop, got it out. Okay, cool. Let's rub that in. Okay, go some red first. Now I'm just gonna use my hands, you guys. I'm not doing anything fancy. Kind of just put some down. Oh, Sophie's outside barking. Rubber in. Kinda thin it out, give it a little bit of a different look with the white and the red like that. When I say white, I just mean, you know, the color that the board is primed. Man, that's super bright. I like that. Okay, what else? Put some orange down on it. That tangerine, so kind of a lot of the two of the same colors, kind of sort of. You might be able to see it here a little bit of a difference. Yeah, I can see a little bit of a difference. Yeah, there's some. Now I'm just going to play. Just kind of want to have a little bit of a play day today. I kind of want 
I'll see what these look like alone by themselves, just with the white and the ink. So, got a torch and tilt. Kind of like that. That's pretty cool looking. Hmm. What to do? Leave it alone or keep going? Hmm. That would probably make some more cells on this thing. Let's see what else we can do. All right, let's go. white to push it over to red. We'll rotate it and go this way. Hold on a second here. Push them into each other. Let's see, huh? This is an orange color. One orange is they look, the two colors look a lot similar. Should have different colors. All right, we'll go. Let's try a thinner line of white. See what happens here. Whoa. Cells are running into each other. That's cool. I still got those other ones up top. Let's see if we can stretch them. Okay. What else are we gonna do here now? Uh, uh, Let's go right there with that other color, see what happens, see if it looks okay. This is that paste, so I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna go right. Well, it's the same, but just a little different with the way that we're gonna color it. Let's go in front of it with some red. Just right in front of it. And put the white behind it again, see what happens. Thick this time, a little bit thicker line. Okay, let's heat it and a C. I like how sharp it is, like right through there, and kind of some of their orange and the colors and stuff. Really like how sharp that is. Can you can you see that? Okay, can you see? All right, let's. Uh, wow, I like how sharp that is. Well, let's try a little more and go like, bloop, go like that way, like, shoot it that way. Let's see what we got. Let's go just with the, I don't know, I'll put a little bit of the orange down. Kind of come close out here to the edge. And kind of 
go. try to flow it that way. Let's see what happens here. I really love that part, like right there. I don't know if you can see the contrast at all or not in it. something right here. I don't know what the hell it is. Dig it out. I like that edge. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you down here and zoom in on this edge here in a minute, but I like the way that looks. I'm going to try to go right over here. I don't, that area is kind of, yeah, it's pretty good with those cells and all that stuff. So I'm going to try to heat and just do a little bit of a tilt and just push, push her off. Let's see what we got. Our tree ice land one. Okay, we got that. Now let's go get some more orange and see what happens here. See it start to thin out and then just well. Come on, baby. Come on back. Yeah, that's kind of cool effect. I like it. I'm happy with that thing. I'm gonna leave her be. The lever be just my sides. And get down here, check it out, make sure that it's all kind of coated. Like I said, this is just a little practice board. A little 12 inch guy. Pretty cool though. I like it. I like how it came out. That's fucking sweet. Freaking sweet. <laughs> I should be cussing. Alright. Just a, this is just a little bit of practice. Just practice. So, 
I like it. I'm happy with it. You know, torch some bubbles. I don't know what the hell that is up there, but something is in there. What is that? Oh, here. Did I get it? Alright, I think I got it. Okay. Just torch it, pop some bubbles. I mean, I gotta go look at look it around. Hold on a minute. This is like in my videos when I say torch it and adjust the sides. This is what I mean by adjust the sides. Like just go make sure that it's all covered everywhere. Okay. That was uh, that was in live time, so there you go. Let me uh, let me pause it, then I'll bring you in for some close-ups and stuff like that. And then I'll still be torching bubbles for a little while. So just to get in the bottom. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, you know, just always feel free to ask in the comments down there. I like it. Um, I like to interact with you guys. So, like this stuff. Love what I do. Love learning. Love making all these cells and just kind of love checking this stuff out. She's cool. I kind of like that white line, like, or that, not the white line, but that, you know, it kind of comes over here. So, not a lot of contrast in it because you know there's a lot of the same colors but I don't know I wanted some orange cells I had a friend that made some orange cells she covered them up so I'm like I'll just make my own orange cells so taught myself how to make some orange cells cool these things are cool looking I don't like them I don't like them I like them I like them okay uh Bye bye, I guess. <laughs> I gotta clean the art room. I gotta wait for everything to dry and clean the art room. So, uh, I just got done doing another one over there. You guys will see the video on that one in a day or two or something. But I might post this one uh, complete just the way it is and fast. I'll fast forward through the mixing of the resin this time so nobody's gotta see that. But yes, I do have a respirator. Did I wear it? No, I didn't wear it. So, I just kind of want to be able to talk to you guys and interact with you. So, okay. Well, I hope everybody liked this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and we'll go over the products again it was uh, Pro Marine Supply Resin I mixed up six ounces on this little 12 inch round um, three parts three ounces of hardener three ounces of uh, you know epoxy uh, we used Bombay Tangerine Indian ink uh, Bombay well Dr. PH Martin same company uh, the Hydrus ink, Hydrus ink right there. I'll put the Bombay in here. Now these are acrylic inks. These are different than alcohol inks. So uh, one reason I like acrylic inks better than alcohol inks, like using them in paintings and stuff, is because they're not supposed to fade after time. They're supposed to be more light fast. But that's just me. I could be wrong. Uh, 
Iceland White from Art Tree Creations. That comes in this little kit that Tamara's got. That's a pretty sweet little kit. Um, like 35 colors in there, lots of pigments, paste, powders for, I think it's like 150 bucks or something, free shipping. It's a freaking good kit. It's a good kit. So, uh, and then what else? Um, oh, the tangerine. So there's that, that tangerine or orange spirit, orange spirits, I guess what it's called. So, right, right there, orange spirit. Okay, well, I better fill up some molds or something and use the rest of this, but I like this the way it is. So I'm going to leave it be. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, she's still curing, but there's a little close-up video for you guys so you can kind of see. Phone doesn't like it because it's so bright. So <laughs> these inks are super bright. Acrylic inks are they are pretty cool. I love them. PH Martins are cool. So... Alright, man, look at those guys right there. They're just crazy cool. Crazy cool. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. That's just a little close up, so. <laughs> Alright, bye bye, everybody. I'll put some uh, other videos up here for you guys to watch, so. All right, and like I said, I know I thanked you a lot, but I do appreciate everybody tuning in, and we've got a lot of cool stuff coming. So uh, please subscribe, and yeah, we're going to have some fun. Okay, bye-bye.